Hello, my name is Dan. I'm with DuPont Personal Protection, and in this video, we're going to review the donning procedures for a Tyvek protective coverall. This is going to be a self-downed garment. Uh, my assistant, Matt, is going to demonstrate. Uh, so we have a chair behind Matt. Always a good idea to have a chair available for both donning and doffing protective apparel, whether that's general protection garments or uh, Tychem chemical, resi uh, chemical resistant garments. The first thing that Matt's gonna do is he's gonna put some sort of protective foot cover on. Anytime you're wearing a garment configuration because you're working with hazardous materials, whether it's chemical, biological, particulate, whatever in nature, chances are you're gonna be using some sort of protective foot cover. Once he's got the protective foot cover on while he's still sitting, he's going to take the Tyvek coverall, came out of the package, gonna unfold it. He'll need to unzip it. And it's certainly easiest to put this on while still sitting down, at least up around your waist. Okay, the next thing Matt will probably do is put on his inner gloves. We use a two layer, two layer glove system. Remember that inner glove is your last layer of protection, the last line of defense. Um, that is gonna be the last thing that comes off when it's time to remove this garment uh, after it has been used for whatever the particular application is you're using it for. Now Matt can stand up. He's gonna bring that garment up over his shoulders. Gonna zip the garment up. Okay. Now this particular garment has a storm flap covering the zipper. There is no self-adhesive on this storm flap. However, uh, next to Matt is a roll of Tychem tape. You could also use duct tape, but you could take some form of tape and use it to secure that storm flap down over the top of the zipper. Then the last thing Matt's gonna do is he's gonna apply the outer glove. Remember, we're gonna use a two layer glove system. The outer glove system is intended to to uh, receive the contaminant material. The inner glove is their last line of defense and the last thing that's gonna come off after we remove this garment. And remember, this particular coverall has no hood. We do offer garments with hoods as well. Uh, at this point, Matt would utilize whatever, the, uh, whatever sort of respiratory and eye protection he was going to utilize, whether it be a half face piece respirator and a pair of goggles or safety glasses, a papper or a full face piece respirator.